Here we are in North Hagley Park and the uh, ground has liquefied during the earthquake and as it's done so uh, all of the trees in here have basically been sitting on in the, in the sand, silt layer uh, that their roots have been, been supported by and when it's liquefied they've had no support so they've all been shaken around and some of them have been under so much stress that the roots have actually failed and this one here is a good example where the root structure hasn't been able to handle being in a liquid base and has completely toppled over and you'll see that the finer roots around the outside have all uh, basically snapped off and pulled out through the ground and really all that was holding that tree there um, was the uh, the ground that was up in this top layer this here basically stayed pretty solid uh, but underneath this silt layer under here you see the ground is nice and strong and it's kind of really that's earth, it's, it's, it's actually humus, and then whereas this here is silt and it's much finer and that would have liquefied and you can see that the tree roots have come down they've basically sat in the top layer of soil and then they've migrated down into the layer below into that silt and then below that they basically stopped because that must be the water table so you can see how high the water table is on, for a tree like this the river's only just over there and underneath you can see all the silt that's pushed up where the tree's fallen over, pushed up into that hole and now it's starting to dry out and you can see the fractures from as, it, from as, it's, uh, as it's reducing in size as it dries. So a lot of the volume of that silt is taken up in the water that it carries. So the tree has fallen over and crushed this container and it's a large old oak tree, something you'd expect to stay up for a long time. Strangely enough, many of the other trees around are absolutely fine. It would seem that Nomad is now seeking out perfect life forms. <laughs>